Representative Ilhan Omar is on shaky ground as her Minnesota constituents and the Minnesota Democratic Party are in agreement she must go. Omar's anti-American, anti-Semitic remarks have caused the people in her own district in Minnesota to turn their back on the congresswoman and they want her gone as soon as possible. But Rep. Omar's response was to blame President Donald Trump, not herself for her newfound troubles. You don't want to miss this. Omar was given a prime opportunity to represent the Somali and Muslim populations from Minnesota and reflect that they too are patriotic Americans. Instead, the 37-year-old congresswoman has spent her first two months in Washington, D. C. trashing Israel and making anti-Semitic slurs against Americans who support the Jewish state. Of course, this is nothing new for Omar, who has a long history of rabid hatred of her adopted homeland support for our strongest ally in the Middle East. Most people are aware of the sickening comments by Omar which launched the Democrats to create a hate resolution, but the majority of Americans are livid that Nancy Pelosi allowed Omar to draft much of the ridiculous statement which didn't name her and focused on Islamophobia. Now, it's come to light that Omar is in hot water back home in Minnesota. In the early 1990s, Somali refugees started to populate the 5th district which Omar represents and their history in Minnesota is tied closely with the Jewish population. Calling for the removal of Omar are many Minnesota Somalis who aren't on board with her anti-Semitic tropes. Somali community activist Omar Jamal of St. Paul said he is in touch with local Jewish leaders about how the two sides can reaffirm their solidarity at a moment of crisis Omar created. He said that he supported Omar's congressional campaign, but that her comments are wrong, period, the Washington Post reported. Dot after she was warned by the Minnesota Democrats she had gone too far, Omar doubled down. Steve Hunigs, executive director of the Jewish Community Relations Council of Minnesota and the Dakotas, said he recently told Omar why many Jews are offended when they are accused of dual loyalty, showing her a picture of a cousin who was killed in action during World War II. About a week later, on February 27, Omar told an audience at a town hall event in Washington, D. C. That accusations of anti-Semitism were meant to silence her criticism of Israel and the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee. She said she wanted to talk about the political influence in this country that says it is okay for people to push for allegiance to a foreign country.